Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I'm a fourth generation witch. Now you might have been watching my previous videos about a November and this season of chaos and death that we are in, because November is a month for the dead. So I wanted to do a video about grief, witchcraft and how to deal with it. Before I get into this video though, I just want to give you a quick word from today's sponsor, Otter Spirit. So I ordered three bracelets from Otter Spirit and so let me show you them. Otter Spirit is a small family owned brand that sells gemstones with purpose. For every gemstone that you buy, they will donate a dollar to help sea otters. They are based in Monterey Bay, the home of California sea otters, so they're looking after their own. They only ever use authentic gemstones, which they've carefully hand-picked, and more than 80% of their gemstones are ranked grade AAA or superior. The first bracelet that I chose was made from Botswana agate. This is so beautiful. I've actually bought it for my son because I thought it was quite manly, but when I pulled it out of the box, I actually found its energy was really quite female in form. However, he will love it. The second one is Kunzite. Kunzite is a beautiful pink colour, and I chose this purely for my eldest daughter, who adores this baby pink, and it will be perfect for her in her stocking. And my final choice is some malachite. As soon as this came out of its box, I felt its intense power and incredibly strong energy. It's a powerful stone malachite. If you would like 20% off their whole site, use my code Ginny20 at otterspirit.com. I love their jewellery. I find it fascinating and beautiful. Thank you, Otter Spirit, for being today's sponsor. The start of November has many feast days dedicated towards the dead, from Dios los Muertos to All Saints, All Souls and Samhain, the Witchcraft Sabbath. These all involve the dead, the veneration of the dead, the honouring of the dead, the welcoming of the dead. It is because we're following this season of the year when the leaves are falling from the trees and the trees themselves look like they are becoming skeletal and dying. And so we therefore turn our thoughts to the dead. The energy of this world means that the veil between the worlds is at its thinnest and so therefore we have a better chance of talking to the dead. So grief, it's a hard and difficult emotion to overcome. I'm not sure you ever really do in this life. I lost my most beloved parents over 10 years ago, which is quite a long time, I think. There's not a single day that goes by where I don't think about them in some form or other. Either to think, oh yes, my mother used to fold her sheets like this, or, or my father would not approve of that because <laughs> he didn't approve of anyone being dishonest in any way whatsoever. And so any time I think that I might be be a little less than strict with the truth. I have him on my shoulder going, uh-uh, I don't think so. I Absolutely not, Ginny. Absolutely not. Grief, therefore, does not leave us. And this can be a problem for our loved ones because when they have passed over, they have this soul contract with us. And unless we release them from this soul contract, they will become earthbound. So it's really important to let them go and to release that energy for them. Each religion has their own ways of doing this. The Christian faith likes to have a requiem mass for their dead and everyone prays for them. It's very important to pray for the dead. And they're absolutely right. What that prayer is doing is pushing the dead forward into the world of spirit. Sometimes you can, you know, release that bond by being at a funeral, but sometimes you can't, especially if they were very close to you. And so this is how I recommend that you try and loosen those bonds and push them through into the world of spirit. And the easiest way to do this is to remember your loved ones.
For me, I find it most appropriate to write my parents a letter, letting them know how much I love them, I miss them, and how I wish they were here. I can also reveal my heart and my love for them and tell them about my everyday life. They have been gone for a long time, so the feelings are not so intense as they were. However, they are still there and they do need to be released. If a letter isn't your style, you could just write a list of all the things that you like to remember and appreciate. Once you have written everything down that you feel you need to say or impart, it's time for the second part of this ritual. And for this, we're going to go outside. So this is Hartridge, which is um, obviously uh, quite far up a hill. It's one of my favourite places to come with the dogs on clear days, cloudy days, any days actually, because it's incredibly magical. There is a ley line cross that goes across the top of the hill here. And where you find ley line crosses, you find all sorts of witchcraft. This is actually um, a place of death. And I'll show you why I mean that in a moment. I thought I'd take you on a little journey to the Ley Line Cross. Some people can feel the energy um, sort of bouncing off the people in the video. So you might see it coming off me and you might be able to tell where the cross is. I, have, I know very well where this cross is. And so we're going to go and have a look at it and see what we can see. So we've made it to where I wanted to come to and I'm standing at a ley line cross. Now, ley line crosses tend to have an awful lot of barrows around them. And if I turn around here and flip my camera, you can just about see a very old barrow currently with some sheep on it. In my opinion, I mean, we don't know this, nobody knows, but from my research and my opinion, the dead were buried near ley line crosses or ley lines themselves in order that they can use those highways of power and energy to pass them through to the next world. They are places where you often encounter the dead at ley line crosses. I have encountered many and there were several here when I, when I first came to this particular ley line cross. There were several earthbound spirits and now I've moved them on so there aren't any more. So this is as close as I can get to the barrow and you can see that there's the sheep on top of it. It is quite a small barrow. It has been here for a very, very long time. There's a couple of Neolithic thoughts nearby and there are other barrows as well within this area. In fact, we're surrounded by them. So for me, I would say that this is a place for the dead. A ley line cross here, a grave there, and a lot of energy in between. And one of the things I like to do at this time of year is to set free my grief and my loved ones. So remember that letter I wrote? I brought the letter with me and what I like to do is simply to burn it. Here is my letter, thanking my parents, telling them how proud I am to have been their daughter. And this I'm going to release into the world. However, this is a great way to keep the memory alive and hold them with love and lightness in your heart. Once it's burnt, the ashes will then scatter into the wind and I will release any contract that I might have still with my parents and allow them to move on. I mean, I've done this every year, so I don't think I've got any contract left with them. However, it's a great way to keep their memory, hold them with love and lightness in your heart. As a witch, we all believe in reincarnation. I remember my past lives. I know I have future lives to look forward to. I also know that these lives are difficult all of them. And I am here to learn the lessons I need to learn at this time. And when I've learned those lessons, or maybe not, I might not learn those lessons, I can, you know, I might fail to learn the lessons, but I will move on. And so death to me is just transformation. I'm just moving on from this life. And actually, I'm going home, because the world of spirit is where we actually belong. And this is a mere illusion. If you have anyone that you wish us to help pass over and release your soul contract, do leave a comment about them here because we can read those comments and we can forward that love to them. Otherwise, 
don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.